Have you ever pondered the profound power of silence? It's a question that may seem simple on the surface, yet it dives deep into the heart of our human existence. Silence, as we understand it, is often perceived as an absence, an absence of noise, an absence of distraction, an absence of the chaos that fills our everyday lives. But what if I told you that silence is not merely an absence, but a presence in itself? In the hush of the early morning or the quiet of the late night, silence is there. It's in the pause between each breath, in the momentary stillness between our thoughts. It's a presence that is both soothing and powerful, a canvas on which the subtlest of feelings and the deepest of thoughts can come to life. And it is in this profound silence, this paradoxical absence and presence, that we often find the answers we are searching for. In the vast expanse of silence, we often find the answers we are searching for. Once upon a time in a bustling city lived a silent sage. This city was a whirlwind of sights and sounds, a constant symphony of urban life. But amidst this cacophony, there was a man of few words, a sage who lived his life in utter silence. Now you might wonder, how did he manage in such a place, brimming with noise and chaos, how did he find his peace? Well, he had a secret. His silence was not a void, but a vessel. It was filled not with words, but with wisdom. His quiet was not an absence, but a presence. It was a space where he listened, not to the city's clamor, but to the whispers of his own heart. He understood that in the heart of silence, wisdom speaks. And so he lived day after day, year after year, in his serene silence amidst the city's symphony. People began to notice him. They were drawn to him like moths to a flame. They found solace in his silence, comfort in his calm. They would sit by him, sharing his silence, feeling the peace that radiated from him. His silence was a language, a language that spoke of tranquility and understanding. It was a language that transcended words, a language that connected hearts. People understood his silence, they felt his wisdom. They realized that silence was not just the absence of noise, but the presence of peace. Through his silence, the sage taught them to listen, to listen to the whispers of their own hearts. He taught them to find peace within themselves, amidst the city's chaos. He taught them that in the silence of their hearts, they could find their own wisdom. His silence was a lesson, a lesson in patience, in understanding, in wisdom. His silence was a beacon, a beacon of peace in a city of chaos. And so the silent sage taught the city dwellers the power of silence without uttering a single word. Scene script, have you ever noticed how silence can be a divine language? There's a profound concept that resonates across spiritual texts and meditative practices. This notion is that God or the divine communicates through the medium of silence. Silence in this context isn't merely the absence of sound. Instead, it's a state of tranquil awareness, a space where the chatter of everyday thoughts is stilled and we become receptive to divine whispers. Consider the Christian tradition. The book of Kings tells us about the prophet Elijah who encountered God not in the thunderous wind nor the earthquake nor the fire, but in a gentle whisper, a still small voice. This voice was heard in the silence following the tumult symbolizing the divine presence in quietude. In the Bhagavad Gita, one of the most sacred texts of Hinduism, Lord Krishna advises Arjuna to seek communion with the divine in a quiet and solitary place emphasizing the importance of silence as a means to spiritual enlightenment. In Zen Buddhism, the practice of zazen or seated meditation is centered around silence. The practitioner quiets the mind and sits in silence, creating a space for a deeper, non-verbal understanding to arise. These instances aren't mere coincidences. They're subtle hints pointing towards a universal truth. The divine communicates not through words, but through silence. It is in this silence that we can truly hear, truly understand. When our minds are noisy and filled with thoughts, we are like a turbulent ocean, incapable of reflecting the moon's serene beauty. But when we calm the waves of our thoughts and embrace silence, our mind becomes like a still lake, perfectly mirroring the moonlight. In this state of silence, we become open to divine communication. This concept is not about adopting a particular religious belief. It's about understanding that silence can be a conduit for wisdom, insight, and spiritual growth, regardless of one's faith or lack thereof. Silence thus becomes a bridge, a sacred space where the divine communicates.
But how do we embrace this silence and listen to the divine? The first step is acknowledging the noise. We live in a world cluttered with sounds, distractions and constant chatter. This noise, both external and internal, often drowns out the divine voice within us. So the first step to embracing silence is to recognize the noise and make a conscious effort to step away from it. Once we've identified the noise, we can then begin to cultivate silence. This cultivation is not just about turning off the TV or putting away our phones. It's about creating a space within ourselves that is free from the noise of thoughts, worries and distractions. Meditation is one of the most effective tools for cultivating this inner silence. It's a practice that involves focusing our mind and calming our thoughts. By sitting quietly and focusing on our breath or a word or even just the silence itself, we can begin to quiet the noise within us. Mindfulness, another powerful tool, is about being fully present in the moment. It's about noticing the world around us without judgment or distraction. When we practice mindfulness, we are not just quieting our thoughts, but we are also opening ourselves up to the divine voice within. These practices, while simple in theory, can be challenging in practice. It's not about achieving perfect silence or having a mind without thoughts. It's about gently guiding our attention back to the silence when we notice our minds have wandered. It's about being patient and kind to ourselves as we learn to embrace the silence. And when we do embrace the silence, we find that it is more than just the absence of noise. It's a space of tranquility, of reflection, and of connection with the divine. It's a space where we can hear the whispers of the divine guiding us, comforting us, inspiring us. This is the power of silence. It's not just about being quiet. It's about being still, being present and listening. Listening not with our ears, but with our hearts. Silence is not just the absence of noise, but the presence of an inward listening. So what have we learned about the power of silence? We've embarked on a journey through the enigma of silence, a concept often misunderstood and underappreciated. We've uncovered that silence is not just an absence of sound, but a profound state of being, a sanctuary where we can connect with the deepest parts of ourselves. The power of silence is immense. It allows us to tap into our inner wisdom, to find peace amidst chaos, and to truly listen to what our heart is trying to tell us. We've heard the story of the silent sage, a tale that illustrates the transformative power of silence. The sage, through his journey of silence, was able to transcend the mundane and touch the divine. His story is a powerful reminder that in the quietest moments we often find the loudest truths. It's in these moments of tranquil quietude that we can really hear the whispers of our soul. We've delved into the concept of divine communication, exploring the idea that God often speaks to us in the silence. This isn't about hearing a voice in the conventional sense, but rather sensing a deeper connection, a spiritual resonance that can guide and enlighten us. We've learned that divine communication is not about seeking answers outside of ourselves, but about tuning into the sacred silence within where we can truly connect with the divine, and we've learned how to embrace silence. We've discovered that it's not about forcing ourselves into a state of quiet, but about gently allowing silence to unfold. It's about creating space in our lives for silence, about welcoming it as a friend rather than shunning it as a stranger. Embracing silence is about understanding its value, respecting its power, and making it a part of our everyday lives. But perhaps the most important lesson we've learned is that silence is not an end in itself, but a means to an end. It's a tool, a pathway, a bridge that can lead us to a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. It's a gateway to the divine, a conduit for spiritual communication. As we wrap up our exploration, let's remember the key message. Silence is a powerful ally, a sacred space where we can truly listen to our hearts and connect with the divine. It's a sanctuary of wisdom, a reservoir of peace, and a wellspring of inspiration. So let's cherish the silence. Let's respect its power, honor its wisdom, and embrace its presence in our lives. Let's create space for silence, for in that silence we can truly hear, truly understand, and truly connect. In the silence of our hearts, we often hear the most profound messages. So next time when you seek answers, remember to be still, for God speaks in the silence.